Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Well... Uh. Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? Sleepwalking. Step away! Right now! You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. And you're a marksman. <laughs> We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. Still waiting to wake up. Beth Wilder risked blowing her cover to rescue you. Sounds like you didn't exactly return the favor. No. I didn't. Thanks for the good. Asshole. Only way forward. Well, that's weird.
There's got to be another way in there. Still no word from Burke on Jack Joyce's position. Very well. Ready a chopper for me at the dry dock. I'm heading to the island. Roger. We'll have the chopper. Seeing Paul's face on that screen, it was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened, what he did. I needed to know why, but part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. Want us to send additional teams to search for Joyce? Negative. That chart was the first sign. Monarch had built an entire PR campaign to protect their reputation. What about Jack Joyce? Once that confession hits the air, the whole city will be looking for him. You'll have nowhere to turn. You'll come to me tonight. At the gala? You're sure? Positive. like some bitch named Amy's gonna be the poster girl for Serene's PR campaign. Filming confession. Joyce is here! There we go. What the hell is that? Hello? Jack, this is Beth Wilder. Beth? I'm... You're the one my brother was looking for. I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun-blazing ship parade through that warehouse. Now listen closely. You are at the outskirts of a Monarch Cronin harvesting operation, and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about... Dry docks. If Paul's at the dry docks. Then that's where I'm... No! At. Jack, the fracture is our only priority now. Time is ending. Will said he... Will's dead. My best friend came back a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. 
So Paul's the key to understanding all this, and I'm gonna find him. They both know that if you find Serene, you're not gonna be asking questions. Think this through. Paul was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized the place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. just went out, but Hatch wants a follow-up confession. You got the script? Yeah, this one's more reflective. Like, wish we could undo what we done sort of deal. Dave will feed you the lines. Dave? You're using your names. You're not letting me go, are you? You're never letting me go. What was that? They don't make sense. You, from the protest, what do you... I am so sorry. I didn't want to, but they made me do it. They made you do what? What is this place? They forced me to make false confessions for the news, I think. I'm so sorry, Jack. You were armed. Hey, whatever you did, it's not your fault. None of this is your fault. I'm just glad you're okay. Listen, I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know the way? Uh, no, uh, no, I don't think so. But they took me in through a security station nearby. I can help you find a way through there. I owe you. The security station is right over there. had a dark side, but this? They're controlling the entire media, everything. They can't cover this up. It's too big. <laughs> they can, trust me. There must be a gate control around somewhere. Yeah, I'll check. Monarch's twisting the story for the media, claiming the protest went hostile and that we did in the library. They're... Hey, it worked. It's not holding long.
So sorry, Jack. They forced me to do it. I, I know. There's nothing you could have done. That map over there should help you figure out a route. Jack, you should take a look at the map. Ground Zero. That's the same area my brother used to have his workshop. I may have to pass through there to get to Paul. Paul? As in Paul Serene? That's why you're going to the dry docks. We have unfinished business. You may want to stay here until I'm done. Yeah. I think you're right. I'll open the door for you. Okay. Stay in contact. Find a radio. I'll be on channel three. And be careful. Yeah. You too. Still no word on Joyce's location. Yeah, heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a... Direct fire! The next three minutes before, my powers were unpredictable. They kept growing by leaps and bounds. Still kicking. Monarch radio is lighting up. They heard a noise and know you're coming. Be careful out there. Thanks for the heads up. Shotgun or advancing on hostile? 
idea where I go next? Well, before you said hi, Gatehouse Squad was talking about activating security measures to lock some door on the second floor. That's a start. Thanks. Squad. 
Remember the geared up soldiers I mentioned near the teleporty stuff you do? Yeah. Apparently they're intending to say hi back with a grudge. So there's that. <sighs> Regarding some kind of chronon particle harvesting operation. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm looking into it. Keep you posted. Okay, just turned off security. Uh oh. Jack, they're coming your way. Joyce just took out Gatehouse Squad. Yeah. I did some digging. This Chronon operation is harvesting some kind of fuel. It's used to power a device called the CFR. Ever heard of it? CFR? No, what is it? I'm not sure, but it looks like it's at the center of everything Monarch's doing. The thing they stole from the university, this operation, everything's linked to the CFR somehow. <laughs> Sophia Amaral, Monarch's resident chronon scientist. Well, she must know a lot of the same stuff Will did. Let's 
guys. Okay. Getting closer, I think. Now, which way's the dry dock? I got that I got briefcase that brief we lifted from William Joy. Okay. Looks like the trailer has power now. Okay. Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. The Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Wasn't much there, but 
his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch just got footage of your lady friend sniffing around some confidential Monarch files. Kind of a big no-no around here. Amy, I gotta go back for her. Don't. I'll pick her up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul at the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the Monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And recognized Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. It was clear that the workshop was at the center of the Monarch operation. I wanted to see it. seemed alone. to be the only way to try to answer it.
technology for his men to move through stutters. He knew the fracture would occur. Prepared for it. Oh, shit. And he never tried to stop it. <sighs> At ground zero? No, never. He hid that part of his life from me. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. And even that was just a prelude Absolutely. to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. Well, I'm pretty sure that's more of a guideline than a rule. What the hell? What is this? There's no words to describe it. Will was gone, but he was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about. Everything he tried to protect me from, it surrounded me. A puzzle, trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant, his career, obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there, it never failed. It works. It works. Need my grant extended another year. Please, don't do this. I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It was impossible to crack. Huh. It was overwhelming. 
Every unanswered question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock, I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul. I refuse to leave while Jack's still here. There's something wrong with Paul. Cronon syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. What was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. It didn't make anything he'd done any less hateful. Yeah. Jack, you have to understand that Will forced my hand. What the hell happened to you? There's no use fighting. You killed him! I'll explain when the time is right. You'll meet me tonight at the Monarch Gala. Gala? Time's ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan... We do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you at... Yes, you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No! The stutters were getting bad. Be shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it could get much worse. But we both know it did. That's good. Right.
goddamn maze in here. Beth had been on her way to me. I expected she was frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock. listening to me back there. Ow. You want to stop time from breaking down? You need my help. And thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. I'm starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. Babysitter? Are you kidding me? I got good intel off that computer. Bitch. My ride, my music. Deal with it. You people. What led you to the swimming hall? Oh, Will said there was something important in this briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury swimming hall the chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. This building's been shut down for years. Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, and I know Monarch doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. Yeah, I bet you like the paycheck too. Try to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. 
and Monarch will be turning Riverport over looking for you. Will's key. Maybe it unlocks this. Key doesn't fit. Okay. I'm gonna find another way in. Make it quick. I'll keep a lookout for unwanted company. This is weird. Huh. I could swear this is the same cab I was in when I came to the university. It's a taxi. They all look the same, don't they? I'll check the license plate on my phone and see if anything comes up, but I mean, it's a long shot. I think I found a way in. Whoa. Hey, I just looked up the license plate of the cab parked over there. It belongs to somebody named Nick Marsters. Nick Marsters? That's the name of one of the witnesses we picked up from the university. <laughs> Stutters aren't going away. Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. Okay, May 17th. What the hell were you doing here, brother? This is William Joyce. Time no travel experiments with rats? The animal test of the machine prototype using my trusty pet mouse, Schrodinger, in order. Where? He's gone. Where'd he go? Shit. Come on, Schrodinger. Twelve thousand dollar moving come bill. On, come on, come on, you're okay. He must have hauled right, a lot more to this place than just some old boxes. Okay, finally, we're sending Schrodinger. No wonder you are always coming up with crazy shit. Through the corridor, which will send him five minutes into the future, meaning he will reemerge exactly five minutes after. Hello, Riverport. Teresa Sedmack here, filling in for Bobby Radford. About to brighten your day with some good news. The victims wounded during the Okay, so, yeah, turns out he just kind of sat inside. We need to the keep our contact limited, limited from this five point. minutes. Took a shit on the I'll find you on the counter. Very clear. Flora, my test. Working on it. All right, let's take a look around. Down here. <sighs> nice work. This note. It's directed at me. July 4th, 2010. Well. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it. And the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken. Shit. What the? Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. Holy shit. What was that? He recorded that for me in 2010? 
What the fuck? And he said the countermeasure's gone? It's not good. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. July 4th, 2010. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it. And the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken, oh, shit. Safe, empty. Just Help me push this out of the way. It, because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our lives depend on it. Jack, your brother addressed that video to me. You know what it is? I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish, but he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. But I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Is that? Yeah, I think so. The second time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. That's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I help them set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. I can do it, Beth. I'm not so sure we can do this without the countermeasure. But you're right. We'll need the machine. Right. Let's start with the core. The corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. It says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. What the hell does it look like? A round thing in the middle. I think. <sighs> okay. Got to figure out where to start. Where are the core controls? Will received a massive research grant in 1997. He'd successfully built the time machine by 1999. But the results scared him. He never... I can't activate the core until it's reset. Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. Are you sure you know what you're doing there? No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. I'm hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will is leading us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. The controls are up here, according to the monitor. The key fits. Looks like I have to do something else first. Here goes nothing. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. It 
worked. <laughs> it actually worked. Okay, we activate the corridor next. Okay, there is no way that thing should be exposed like that. left it in a trunk of his goddamn car. <laughs> That's my brother in a nutshell. anything back there? No. Fuck. Nothing I can make sense of. Let's just hope it still works. Input. I'm guessing this is it over here. Okay, it's perfect. No, 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 no. What? God damn it. I don't know. We were so close. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, like hell you are. You saw what happened. Something's wrong with the machine. But we don't know that. You are not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's head of Cronin Research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no. The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly or how it would end. There he is. You were right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. 
We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? Does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere. We don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. If Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Dr. Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who could win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. What are these doing here? We should be set up by now. It's all on schedule. You're micromanaging again. Mr. Joyce is waiting for us down below. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or I could let Hatch deal with him so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. I once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? But without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. Martin, I'm afraid you're gonna have to cover for me at the speech tonight. All right. Jack and I have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. I've seen where this leads. I've been to the end of time, and I've escaped it, all the way to 1999, when it all started. I've tried to change things, but by trying, I only made them happen in the first place. Time is breaking down. Monarch has been preparing for it. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Mark. Well, let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. You're not thinking clearly. You need to trim it. You gonna go? Me? Go to a party. We can roll together if you want. What do you want? I want a statement. Our group took things too far. Things got very violent, and that violence was because of Jack Joyce. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. Find him. Step away! Right now! William, this isn't what it looks like. No. No! He's gone. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. 